Hi, hello everyone. Good evening. Uh, I am uh, Abhishek. I am the product manager of Kailas, and uh, today we are going to touch base upon a very recently launched feature, uh, field sales management in Kailas. So we have got so many requests from uh, many of you that uh, you want to track the field sales force, which is uh, on the field. Like for example. Uh, use cases of uh, let's say FMCGs where the sales team are supposed to visit many clients uh, throughout the day for uh, pitching their products or getting the orders and uh, for pharmaceutical uh, use cases as well where the marketing representatives are supposed to visit doctors or uh, uh, hospitals uh, for that matter and uh, so the reporting manager or the admin uh, people of the organization would like to know where is their team situated right now. So if there are, let's say, 10 number of users, so they are interested in knowing where my team is right now. We also want to know how much is the distance they have uh, traveled. So in order to uh, cater the field sales requirements so the typical requirement is to first is to know where the currently team is the second thing is uh, you want to understand the total timeline of a user for a given uh, time period like how much is the distance traveled for a particular user how many meetings they have attended where they have visited throughout the day so all these are uh, part of the field force management and that is what we have developed recently and first part of that has gone live last week so we thought to have a quick webinar on this however this is a uh, ongoing feature there are many versions and updates are going to come but uh, let us see what has been released so far what are the currently features and functionalities uh, available and uh, then we will also take some feedback from you what you are expecting as a field force management and we can see what we can take as a feedback and uh, we can implement that in the upcoming roadmap of Kailas. Okay, so let me share my screen again. I'll show you first how the, the field sales management can be enabled on your existing Kailas account how a sales user will be using that feature, what functionalities you as a reporting manager of that user has, and uh, then at the end, we will uh, discuss the queries and any suggestions if there are uh, whatsoever. Okay, so I hope my screen is visible. So this is the dashboard of Kailas, those who are new to Kailas. So when you sign up, to Kailas and you log in with your email ID and password. This is the screen that is available to you for the very first time. In order to access the field sales management, simple steps are first of all, one has to create, click on this CRM settings button on the bottom left. When you go to CRM settings, if you will scroll a little bit, you will see the field sales management uh, in the settings dashboard. So the first step is to create the field sales executives. That means like you have to add all of your uh, uh, field sales user as a field sales executive over here. So the reason why we are bringing separately uh, addition of users is that not everyone of your field of your Kailas user will be a field sales user. So for example, if you have, let's say 20, 30, 50 or 100 users added in Kailas, only few of them will be the field sales users. So you can add them separately from your existing list as a field sales executive. So to do that, just click on this add executive, choose the users that you would like to add as a field sales executive and click on save. In my account, I have already added so many users who are working as field sales executives, right? Now, as soon as this field sales user is added on Kailas, when any of that will log into their mobile application, they will see some uh, actions. So let me share my mobile screen. I'll show you what actions a field sales user will see when they are added as a field sales uh, executive in Kailas. So 
as soon as I have added someone as a field sales user, what they will do is when uh, they will launch the mobile application, they'll click on this uh, burger menu. So as of now, you can see I have logged in as a user. Uh, Akash Nakte, who is my test user. So when you will expand the burger menu, you will see there is this field sales section available at the bottom. Right when you will click on this. It will obviously ask for your GPS permission because in order to track the location, GPS is a mandatory thing. So you can simply provide the GPS permission as well as you can check whether the GPS is on uh, or not. Right. So in my case, I have kept my GPS on. Now there are a couple of functionalities that can be performed. We will have a look one by one. First and foremost is your sales user is supposed to make themselves available for a given day. What I mean by available is like is a simple you can consider as a attendance management. So for example, if I have marked myself available, that will be the first point where we will start tracking the location. So it could be a case where the user is on their way. They are using GPS for some personal uh, purpose, right? While uh, visiting to some uh, places where uh, they are going for a personal visit or something like that. So in that case, we are not supposed to track their GPS location. OK, so whenever they will make themselves available, only when we will be starting to track their GPS location. So as soon as someone has uh, made themselves available, we will start tracking the location and we will start plotting the timeline. So I'll show how the timeline uh, of a user will look like. Timeline is like throughout the day, wherever they have visited, uh, what distance they have traveled, everything will be displayed. Okay, so first is making themselves as available. Second is check-in. So there are two ways to check in. First is a quick check in where let's say if someone has visited to a client uh, without any prior scheduled meeting. So in that case, they can simply visit a particular client, a prospect, and they can mark a check in. Let's say uh, I mark it as test check in. The moment I click on save and check in, what it will do is it will capture my current location. You can see in the GPS, it will capture my current location and it will save a check in in association with a meeting which can be later on added. So you can see there is this meeting. I can simply open this meeting and I can see a meeting has been created automatically uh, for the current time and. Uh, uh, this meeting later on can be associated with any prospect which is created later. Right. So in order to do a quick check in one option is there that uh, you go to a certain place, mark your uh, presence as a check in and the check in can be associated with any prospect later on. Next is check out. So once a user has checked in, they can check in from a particular meeting. So it will mark as a completion of a meeting and that activity will be recorded in their timeline as well. So you can see there is a check in one and there is a check out one, right? So slowly, slowly you can see the timeline is building, right? So this is the whole idea of timeline that as soon as a user has marked themselves available after that, whatever activities they are doing in the system should be recorded. Next is uh, there is another option check in with meeting. When I click on check in with meeting, I have two options. One is if I want to choose one of the existing meetings, so it might happen that you used to schedule all the meetings of let's say tomorrow. Uh, beforehand, let's say I have made some calls to my prospects and some of them have agreed to meet me. So what I can do is I can have a, a pre scheduled meeting created in the system. And at this point of time, what I have to just do is I have to choose one of the meeting and I have to check in, which will be marking my. Uh, presence. Then. Second is to 
create a new meeting is like when you visit a particular location and if you would like to create a detailed meeting along with a prospect like i can choose the prospect as a related to lead deal or contact okay so let's say i have selected contact and uh, i can add a save and check in so it will create a meeting with the invitees and the related entity and it will mark it as my check in and again that point is captured as a data point in timeline and of course i can check out it later okay so i can click on check out i can select all the meetings that i have checked in and i can check out from here so that's how a field sales user is supposed to mark themselves as available they are supposed to mark themselves as unavailable check in and check out all these four actions are available uh, right now and uh, i'll show you how the timeline will be displayed okay i hope my web screen is again uh, visible so what i can do is now since i am already on field sales executives some of the field sales executives are reporting to me so what i can do is i can click on this track button so there are couple of things that are visible to me is one is the current location of my field sales executives so you can see there are three four users who are reporting to me one is uh, this user rohit second is tanmay there is alpesh there is abhinav and this there is this one akash uh, from whose account i was logged in on my web applic uh, mobile application okay so this user is right now available so what i can do is i can click on this user and i can see what is their exact location where they are available so i can see the presence of all my field sales executives in one go whether they are available how many are available how many are checked in to any meeting or how many are unavailable right so this gives me a clear picture of the current location of all my field sales executives uh, in a given area right second is timeline so what i can see as a timeline is the and now there are many interesting information that are visible over here let's say i have selected last week and uh, in my account i had a data for 6th of march okay so as soon as i expanded this uh, 6th march this blue line you can observe this is telling me the complete journey of my sales user for the given day okay i can scroll to the timeline as well so it started from 6th march 12 m where the user was marked as available and after that where they have checked in where they have checked out where they have marked themselves available unavailable every data point is captured and a smooth blue line is plotted over the map which tells you the total journey that a user has done for a given uh, day right and on top of that you also get to know about some interesting information like what was the distance traveled by the user what was the time taken for uh, traveling that much of distance how many meetings they have attended throughout the day what is the time spent in uh, meetings and uh, what is the time duration for which this user was available for a given day so all this information is important in order to do the expense uh, calculations and to come to know about whether a user has traveled the distance that they were expected to travel whether they have attended all the meetings that they were expected to attend and whether they were available for a shift timing that was decided for them so all this information with respect to field sales executives can be seen over here and you can see their uh, timeline we are also bringing export of this information so you will be able to get this data exported in a csv file where you will be able to calculate the expense uh, if there is a per kilometer uh, 
price which is decided by the user you will be able to also uh, view this uh, information consolidated for all the users like on timeline you can see for one user at a time but for uh, data export part you will be able to see the whole information for a given time period for all the users in one single file right now there are certain limitations with respect to the fields is first and foremost is about the gps strength and the mobile network strength right so this is a uh, constraint is that when the gps location let's say if it is weak or the mobile signal is weak in that case we won't be able to track the gps location so those points might be missing in the timeline so but that is something that is not in our control your user might have turned off the gps as well for some reason so in that case we are developing uh, something to showcase the current gps status of a user right so if the gps status of the user is on it will be displayed as on but if someone has turned off the gps then a notification will be coming to the reporting manager that a gps of that user is turned off and the G the reporting manager will be able to nudge the user about turning on the gps right so all those things are coming up export of the same information is also something that is uh, in development and uh, there are many things like uh, uh, geofencing beat planning all these things are planned and in the roadmap so we can always have a discussion around what else you would like to have as part of field sales and uh, what we are planning to develop your questions are always welcome so you can connect with uh, us through our support email and uh, we can address the queries and if at all there are any suggestions any queries with respect to field sales please uh, get back to us we'll try to address them uh, as soon as possible so let us close this thanks thanks for joining bye bye